WPTV. Welcome back to the desk. Today we have Joe, Vinny, Stephen, and Justin here to break down some Pioneer football. How are we doing, fellas? Hey, pretty good. Yeah. good. The Pioneers had a tough loss to Wesley this week, 45-7. Justin, I know you were on the call yep. for that. What did you see from that game? So like you said, Dante, it was a tough loss, 45-7. But we'll take a look at the highlights from that game. And now, first things for, first, for the Pioneers, yes, it was a tough loss. But really what stuck out to me was they kept switching in and out of quarterbacks. George Crespo was announced as the starter. Then it went to Tracy Fudge Jr. Back to George Crespo after halftime. Then back to Tracy Fudge Jr. at the fourth quarter. And then Cornelius Kinchin to close it out. So... It really, we thought they cleaned up the quarterback position, but that dysfunction and the unrest of who the starter should be is still there. But at the same time, we saw that the Pioneer offense, it struggles when they can't throw the ball. And that's why Tariq Riddick, he had to rip off a long touchdown run for their only points of the game. See you. Yeah, I agree with that. Based off what said about the running back, he, they're getting him involved a lot. They need to bat, and it needs more balance. It needs a lot more balance, this team. You have to play all three aspects of football too. Offense, defense, special teams. If you play all three aspects of those football, you're going to be good and succeed. Vinny? Exactly what uh, Stephen and Justin said. I mean, they need to throw the ball more. I mean, I've seen it. I've seen it in high school. I've seen it here that um, running the ball almost every single play just doesn't work. Joe, what did you see specifically from the numbers here in this one? Uh, so I, what the Pioneers were able to do on defense, at first the defense started out very hot. They were on a roll. They were able to get some big stops early, four and three and outs. Biggest problem is that the offense could not come through. Offense repeatedly, three, uh, three and out, three and out, three and out. And you do that, if we're going to take a look at the stats here, uh, the Pioneers were not able to generate a lot of offense. So the, that having to force the defense to play a lot, and you know, as we see here, the yardage battle was just totally <coughs> lopsided. 11 first downs to 24. If you're only getting a first down 11 out of every time, like, you know, 11 times, the defense is just way too much pressure, and no wonder they put up 45 points and 543 yards. It was something that Justin alluded to earlier, the constant switch between quarterbacks, both Tracy Fudge and George Tresco getting a lot of reps in that game. Joe, if you had to pick one of those quarterbacks to stick with, who are you picking? I got to go with the guy who's been there throughout. Four years, it's got to be Tracy Fudge Jr., I mean, both Crespo and Tracy Fudge, they both have a lot to offer. Crespo being the freshman, with Fudge being the senior. But what, with Fudge, you have a good pocket presence, you have a veteran. And I think for Crespo's development there, as you see, the three interceptions, the zero touchdowns, he has to sort of get more familiar with the offense. They did have a couple wins with him, but I think the interceptions will go down, the touchdowns will go up as he develops. Take time to learn the playbook. Benny? I'm going with Crespo. I mean, it's new blood. I mean, um, I feel like he's going to do really well. He's got two wins, um, more than more than Fudge. I'm not trying to diss Fudge or anything, but um, he, I, I feel like he's just going to be a better fit for the position. Steve? Yeah, I'm going to stick with Joe on this one. I stick with Tracy Fudge. I think you go, you go with the veteran in the situation. If you want to win football games, you go with the veteran. Hey, Crespo, not bad at all. He's young. He's young still. I'm not counting this kid out at all. Next year, he's going to be the starter. He's going to be in charge of this team. So Fudge needs to carry this team, which he's going to do, he's going to carry this team, train Crespo in the process, and this team's going to be pretty good with that. Steve, you said it. He's going to be the starter next year. Why not have George Crespo start now? You're forgetting, he won the only two games for the Pioneers this season. That was, that was the first time since October of 2016, give or take. Our freshman year. Yeah, exactly. We're seniors now, Dante. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> but you look at the offense as a whole, George Crespo gets the ball out a lot faster. He has a much like more compact and quick motion. Pioneers, yes, they are a run-heavy team. That's why he doesn't have any passing touchdowns. But at the same time, their short passing game to like Siraj Abdul-Malik on a streak, his motion to get the ball out a lot faster benefits the team. Tracy Fudge, he'll drop back and wait for plays to develop, while George will just get the ball out right away. Now, Justin, we'll keep it with you. The Pioneers, unfortunately, have been on a little bit of a slide since their 2 and one start. What do you think they could do to right the ship? You know, there's a saying, defense sparks offense. And for me, the Pioneers, they need to capitalize on turnovers. We've seen it numerous times. They'll have either a pick, and they'll run it back 20, 30 yards, and it'll get called back on a holding penalty. Or they get an interception or a fumble recovery in the opposing team's red zone and go three and out or get a field goal. They need to get, when they get free turnovers, they need to capitalize. See? Yeah. Um, going back to the quarterback situation with this, I think having one solid quarterback as your starter is very good for this team. All right, It brings unity to the team. It has trust in the team. You have to trust one guy on this team to do it. And it helps bring the team together. It helps get rid of confusion, I think, having one guy so they can just trust him and go with that and see how they go. Vinny? 
I think they uh, they need to balance the offense. Do do more pass plays. Like I mean, not more, but um, like even it out. Yeah. They can't just run the ball almost every play and and expect a win when when they need to switch it up and throw the ball some more. Joe? Anytime you're relying on your running backs to hit the home runs, it's not going to work. You have to take shots downfield. You have to throw the ball far. And I think what Fudge is able to do definitely is better than what Crest was able to do. You throw the ball downfield. I mean, their longest pass this year was 64 yards to Matthew Clark. Outside of that, they've done nothing even close to that. They have to be able to do that. Less pressure on the running backs. Yeah. And Pioneers will have an opportunity to right the ship tomorrow here on campus against Rowan. Steven, as we look into that matchup, what are you going to see from the Pioneers? Hey, I think this is going to be a good matchup. I'd like to bring up the stats to look at that. Rowan is a good team. Their record doesn't show it, but they're a good team. William Patterson's also a good team. William Patterson's record, 2-4. and four. Rowan, 1-5. and five. William Patterson is averaging 17.7 points per game while Rowan's averaging 23. Their um, yards per game is 297.8, while Rowan's is 339.5, and their average rushing is 153.2, while Rowan is 163. They're very even team, very even, very even matchup. William Patterson, Rowan's going to be a good game tomorrow. Justin? I think the Pioneers are going to have to rely on their defense. As we saw in the stat, the points differential for giving up is five points, right? The Pioneer defense when they've lost to teams in the NJAC, in New Jersey, not the powerhouse schools, they've lost within three points or less, right? It's close games, and the defense keeps them in there. So if the defense can come through and get a key turnover or a stop, which they have many times this season already, Pioneers could win this game. Vinny, where are you looking for? Um, I'm with Steven. I'm pretty sure it's going to – I'm expecting it to be a really good game. I mean, it, with the stats, looking at the stats, they look like they're really even teams, and it's going to be a good matchup. Joe? I think Rowan uh, definitely has a great air attack. They're able to pass the ball very well. The Pioneers, when they win, it's because of their secondary. So I'm looking at Devin Blunt officially to step up and really have a big game, the freshman. Uh, they're going to win, I think. Yeah. Justin, you will be on the call for that tomorrow. Yep. Here on the campus, William Patterson, all of our eyes will be glued to that game. That's all the time we have this week for our Pioneers. Now let's grab some peanuts and head out to the old ball game with the MLB crew. Thanks, Joe.